Warning Windows Vista in HPA like there's a Tundroid G2? Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this video. We'll be showcasing the installation of Windows Vista on a 2015 PC. We're going to see if this operating system, which was released in 2007, can still handle modern games and programs on the most recent hardware. I'll walk through the installation process, and once it's set up, we're gonna test the performance by running some popular games and software from today. Will it able to handle the demands of modern technology? Let's find out together. Let's get started. So this is the PC I should demonstrate. Actually, it is a server that I replaced with my gaming PC. Here's are the specs and let's see if this PC can actually run Windows Vista. It can actually run modern programs and run modern games. Let's find out. Okay, I'm configuring the BIOS and then change it to legacy so that we can actually boot Windows Vista and continue this process. Okay, here's Windows Vista booting from USB. It actually worked just fine, and now we're getting into the first stage of the setup process. I used the Windows Vista Extended Kernel ISO because when I used the original ISO, the setup would freeze at the same background and not show up. So here's on the setup. Let's run the setup by now. So yeah, it seems very smooth because I have Nvidia graphics card. Well, yeah, it successes the installation of Windows Vista. Okay, we finally made it to out of box of experience. First try. So I'll type my name here. And yeah, it completely works fine. But once we head to the desktop, we need to install the drivers. Yeah, the NVIDIA driver I use it supports Windows Vista so that we can enable error, etc. And also. We don't have any network driver supported by this computer, so instead I use USB Ethernet to connect to the internet. Okay, we're finally on a desktop, so let's install the drivers. Based here, Windows Vista has a lot of uh, not installed drivers. This is because it requires Windows 7 or later. So yeah, the Ethernet, the Wi-Fi, and then the, the graphics card, etc. So it's time to install the drivers. Okay, we finally connected to the internet. So we're using Internet Explorer because I'm not using the USB so that Windows Vista can actually use Internet Explorer in 2024. So yeah, so I can finally load Internet Explorer. And I couldn't load Supremium because it's because I don't know why why Supremium is not loading this the, the website correctly. So I installed Mozilla Firefox.
by the same message. I don't know why, why the NVIDIA graphics card cannot be installed and yeah, I don't know why, why it doesn't install correctly. So instead I use the device manager and it fails. So I'll take a look the PCI slot. As you can see PCI slot which means it's NVIDIA. So I install the driver and it successes the installation. Here's the Windows Vista startup. Okay, let's run the Windows Vista Aero theme. Okay, Aero theme is has been applied, so I'm switching to Capture Card to make it more details. I want to try the Firefox version 115. However, since the extended kernels is updated to 2021 because of the ISO, and then I want to install the latest version of extended kernel, but it failed installation. So instead, I kept using Firefox 78 and then let's watch YouTube videos and let's see if we can actually run 1080p or 4K videos. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't install the, the extended kernel, the latest version. This is because of um, lack of lack of support and I don't know why I, I couldn't update that. But anyway, let's open Firefox and let's open my channel. Yeah, it's definitely fast because it's only only a faster graphics card and I'm using a hard drive by the way I'm not using SSD because this device is my server or I, I have a typo so I'm just gonna okay I think it's a typo here so don't worry about that okay there you go loading my channel and there you go so let's see if we can actually do one 1080p 1080p Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely good, I guess. So let's see. Invincible. Yep. Well, yeah, it's only options is 360p. So I try another video. Okay, with different video, I can actually wa watch 1080p and 60 frames per second. So let's see, if we can actually one 4K videos in Windows Vista. So let's see what happens. Thanks to the NVIDIA graphics card, I can finally watch 4K videos in Windows Vista. Well, it's a little bit lag, but yeah, it's playable. So I decided to run Windows Experience Index, and yeah. So yeah, since we got the modern CPU from 2015, it is Intel 6th generation and NVIDIA Quadro K2000. And yeah, the scores are wait for it which is 5.9 not too bad but this is a perfect score for windows vista yeah as you can see it's 5.9 everything playing boot in games in windows vista like ink ball is quite very smooth this is because you got the high score in windows experience index so it's definitely smooth and it is playable at running 60 fps so I wanted to install Minecraft on Windows Vista, but I faced problems. When I tried to install Java 21, the installation failed because that version of Java required Windows 10 or later. However, I was able to extract the Java files, so I could use them to run Minecraft. I was multi-MC because the official Minecraft launcher was also not supported. So let's run Minecraft. So I'm opening Minecraft right now. So as you can see, it opens perfectly with Java 21. So as you can see, I can basically go to the tile screen. So this is Minecraft 1.21.1, which is completely working in Windows Vista. Opening Windward to take demonstrate compared to these versions. And yeah, let's create our single player world and let's see how much FPS we can make. Okay, here's another problem. So when I create a new world, it's stuck at 100% and my Minecraft is not responding. I don't know why this is because of job uh, execution. So I decided to run 1.16.5 to its job rate and let's say I can actually use the world. So yeah, let's downgrade to 
Minecraft 1.16 and we're gonna use Java 8. Okay, as you can see, I'm running Minecraft in 1.16 in Windows Vista. So as you can see, yeah, it's definitely smooth. So let's see the FPS and see how much we can actually make. Um, yeah, so I, I turned on Vincing so that, yeah. And as you can see, I'm running 160 FPS. It's kind of high frame rate, but it is playable on Windows Vista PC. So, so, yes, so yeah, it's kind of, kind of smooth. So I can actually make worlds and houses there so that I can actually play with Minecraft. Increasing when the distance make the FPS problems, which is 86 FPS, 75 and 42 sometimes. So yeah, two chunks is, well yeah, it's reaching me 300 FPS. So let's go back to eight chunks to, to demonstrate a little bit. You have 200 FPS it is. So now it is playable as fine. And yeah, you can actually make survival worlds here and yeah, it's working perfectly fine. So yeah, let's head to the conclusion of this video. Can this computer run Windows Vista? Yes, it can. However, some programs are not supported with the extended kernel because they require Windows 10 or later. In fact, Windows 7 is no longer supported and Windows Vista does not run programs based on 2024 except for Supermium. The good thing about Windows Vista is that can run older programs like Office 27, older games and professional applications used in architecture, etc. Overall, I can still use it. It runs very smoothly and efficiently, except for the Windows 11 system requirements. Thanks for watching and see you again for my next video. Please like and subscribe and peace.